disclaimer. If you like soccer in any way, shape, or form, leave. That's it. That's your disclaimer. Because after seeing this now, just to put an episode, and I seen that that one little ha ah, Sasuke bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm laughing. Because it's not, it's not a laughing matter. This bitch is about to get raped by Mazaku fucking Kami, nigga. Mazaku Kami is in it, but Mazaku's not here today. It's Mazaku Kami. Y'all know how Mazaku fucking Kami gets when it comes to Sakura. This bitch is about to get buried. Now, I'm going to start off with an overall review of this character, and then of course it will turn into a rant eventually. So, um... The Team 7 consists of Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, how we know Sasuke being like the best, Naruto being the loser, and Sakura being the brains. That, at least that's how it was written in the beginning. But since this series started, I have seen zero, zero explanation of where the fuck her brains came from. Now here's the thing. Sasuke... He's an angry dude. Let's, he's naturally angry because of what happened to his clan. Therefore, he keeps himself inside of a box. He doesn't talk to anyone. He doesn't like anyone. Doesn't associate with anyone. If anything came close to that, it's probably Naruto. But he claimed, you know, was his best friend. Now, while they were young, these two fucking thoughts, baby thoughts, thoughtlers, named Sakura Haruno and fucking Ino Yamanaka, they like Sasuke. They admired Sasuke because, oh, he was cool. He always kicked Naruto's ass. And he just looked good. The face. The face looked good, okay. No, nothing wrong with that. No little child baby love, you know? Years pass. Give it four years. When they're about to graduate. These feelings remain. They remain. Doesn't, it doesn't change at all within both parties. To the point where these two girls were friends, and now they're not friends because they love a guy who hates them. Okay? They're 12 at this time. They probably don't know yet. You know, you know, you're not even an ninja yet, you know? Give them a little pass. Let that damage control slide through. Slide through. Okay? So... Now it's time for these ninjas to graduate. And they're doing pairs of three. Three in each team. Bam, bam, bam. Seven. Eight. Nine. I don't, I don't know what the fuck the fucking teams is. What teams are. Excuse me. So Sakura gets paired with Sasuke. Uchiha. Now, throughout the original fucking series, rather than train... 100% of the time. She spends 80% of that fucking time licking Sasuke's ball sack. Throughout the entire, the entirety, the whole thing of the first arc, you know, the Seven Sword, not Seven Sword, the Zabuza Haku arc. She has been riding Sasuke's fucking cock. Rather than train and hone her skills like Naruto and Sasuke did, you, these motherfuckers trained overnight. They wanted it. Because you had to protect your teammates on that battlefield. She spends her daytime gawking at fucking Sasuke, giving a little crush treat. I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, still, Sasuke has showed zero interest. Zero. Okay? So let's move on to the next arc. The fucking tuning exams. Still, it remains. She's worried about impressing fucking Sasuke. And when we get the whole Gara and Naruto bullshit, while Naruto's in, look, mind you, 
Naruto has been doing everything to save this fucking useless ungrateful bitch's ass. He done saved her multiple times. He done saved her doing the motherfucking high school art, the motherfucking tuning exams. Fuck did he So at this point, it's all you guys can hear the noise in the background, this fuck is making fuck noise. But Fuck it. But still, she's riding Sasuke's nuts. She still wants to praise him. Now, here's the thing. Is it, even though this shit pissed me off, I wasn't that pissed off. Some good action was still going on. But then, this is when I knew that forever, and I mean forever, I will fucking hate this bitch. Mind you, Naruto saved her with the whole girl shit. He saved her. <laughs> Now, when Naruto's in the hospital, you no, know, because of that shit, Sakura doesn't give a damn. Doesn't give a damn. Doesn't give a damn about it. Now, after Sasuke gets fucked up by Itachi, when he wakes up, she is all over this fucker. And Naruto sees it like, um, I've been the one saving you this entire time. Sasuke's done nothing for the bitch. You know, Sasuke doesn't care. The only person Sasuke opened up to was Naruto himself. Never Sakura, okay? But this is why I saw the hater. Well, Sasuke went away from the Leaf Village. He went away. He left. Went on his own. Went on his own. Do his own thing. Grow his own dick. So he can fuck Itachi with it later. This, this, this fucking bitch, this fucking cunt, when he tries to leave the village, you not only follow him, you fucking whore, you fucking offer to leave your village, become a rogue ninja, and betray everyone in the village, just fucking Sasuke. Go ahead and fucking push it a little. I'm about to make this shit fall. Me being angry and shit. Shit. Let's get this shit in. Going to throw away everything for a guy that fucking hates you. He was about to betray your fucking. And here's a she's a fucking idiot. Once that happens, you're a rogue fucking ninja. Anybody find you, they can kill you. That should be the original thing. Once you leave, you got information. Sorry, you got a die pen. But she's willing to throw away her mom, her dad, and cop, all of that. Just for a chance of Sasuke liking her. And then, when she gets denied that, guess who she goes crying to? Naruto was a fucking monkey. This he says he loves Sasuke. Mind you, love is a fucking powerful thing. It consists of a bond. You got you know this person. It could be one minute to five months to ten years. But it has to be some kind of bond. Some kind of interaction. For you to really love someone. Sasuke didn't show any of that. Any of it. Called it annoying. And oh, he doesn't fucking like it. Made it very clear. Told her to her face. And now she loves him. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Not again. So. She goes crying. No, it was for my fucking. I, when I seen this bitch cry. I wanted to break my fucking laptop. I wanted to cut my fucking fist tag and fucking Superman punch the shit out of it. You you just it was two seconds away from fucking betraying everyone in your village, including Naruto, and now you're on your fucking knees begging him to save fucking Sasuke, crying to him. The fakest bitch in anime history. People saying fucking Lucy and Fairy Tale or Manami and One Piece are worse than her. No, this, it's, it's impossible. I haven't even watched both series yet. 
Like, I'm still in the beginning, and it's impossible to even surpass this fucker. And we're still in part one. I'm still talking shit about part one. She fucking begs Naruto. And when Naruto doesn't do it, you can see the disappointment on her fucking face instead of, Oh, Naruto, are you okay? Sasuke did this to you? Fuck him. No. In fact, after the time skip, her love somehow grew stronger for Sasuke. The men that nearly killed Naruto <laughs> sent them back to the village. Fuck Kakashi. Now, mind you, Kakashi had to go out and save the man. Kakashi had to save this nigga. <laughs> then, so the man who nearly fucking killed your fucking comrade on your team left. Two and a half years you're in the village. You became a tuning. Why everybody else around you became joining because you're the only one that's a useless bitch. You become a tuning. And somehow, some way, you didn't see Sasuke at all. <laughs> Your love somehow grew stronger. And the first day you see Naruto, you punch the shit out of him. Bullshit, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to say this now. I don't give a fuck how many feelings it hurts. Anybody who actually likes Sakura or liked Sakura still, at they see in the first like half of this video or period, has to be fucking retarded. This, I don't understand how it's a fucking fan base. My uncle only focus on the negative. Well, look at the negatives. She tried to fucking betray her fucking village. And then the next day, beg... The person who she's about to betray. Like, are you serious? The bitch is fucking 13 at this point. Now let's move on to part two. Okay. Now, Sakura with the Sasori thing. Good fight. Sakura fangirls, the fanboys, mostly fangirls, were like, oh yeah, but she beat Chio, bitch. I said beat Chio. She beat Sasori, but bitch, Chio pulled the strings. Literally. Literally fucking pulled the strings with this bitch. I mean, the antidote thing. I give her her points for that. That's nice. And from there, we throw her all shit. Sakura about to become a beast. Nope. 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 Not at all. Not at all. In fact, she fucking... Oh, God. That was the only character development she had, period. But let's get on to... Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we can go to the pain arc. See, back in, when she finally, oh, no, let the fuck the pain arc. Let's go to the Fakage Summit. <laughs> when Sasuke tries to kill everybody. <laughs> and this, this whore. Go to Naruto and fucking lies. No, she Naruto. He's look. He's on a mission. Whatever the fuck he's at. She goes out of her way to tell him she loves him, knowing damn well she's lying. There's one thing you don't fucking do, females. If you're watching this, it goes out to you. No disrespect at all. Just common sense. Don't ever one. Don't ever insult a man's intelligence. Two, don't ever lie to your man what's also ties to insulting his fucking intelligence, assuming he'll believe that bullshit. And three, don't ever disturb a man's peace just to fucking fuck with his emotions. Don't do that. The big three, she managed to put that shit all together and fucking shove it in his face. Naruto, a fool, a knucklehead, he was even able to tell that she was fucking bullshitting. And this, by the way, it's one episode. Let's backtrack. The fucking Yamato gives Naruto and Sakura a seed. So, they could, so he could track them. She spends 11 minutes looking at the seed and says, This is a seed.
11 fucking minutes. This is when the shit came on weekly, people. But let's get on to it. So, we all know that Sakura at this point is a scumbag bitch. Now, here's another thing she did that should have, you know, permitted in her fucking death. From the village. From the headquarters. See, drugs. Kiba, Rockley, whoever the fuck was with her too. I think it was Sheena. And because she thinks she could kill Sasuke. So one, this meteorocracy of, of thinking. Two, you just drugged your own fucking teammates in the middle of a forest. And they have their hidden leaf headband so like anybody can find them and fucking kill them and capture them. You do that and you leave them there. So you drug your own fucking teammates. Go to Sasuke. Mind you, Sasuke done fucking just killed Josuna be Okage Danzo. Just attack the fucking of Rakage. He fought all of the Kages. Joined the Akaski. Presumably killed you know, one of their Jinchurikis, which is also Naruto. And you know, we all know the Akaski is after Naruto at this point. And we all know he's a Jinchuriki. Sasuke does this. You go towards him with the intent of killing him. Get so close. Realize, ah, I love you. Mind you, Sasuke hasn't seen this bitch in three years and beforehand has showed her zero attention. But she loves him. You wanna know why she loves him? Because he looks nice. So she puts that above the least morals fucking now. Everybody, she puts that above everybody because this man has a handsome face. He goes above you. I don't care what he does. I don't care how many people he kills or how badly he says you're going to destroy my brother. Any fucking danger. Period. I'm going to choose him because he looks fucking nice. And then realizes she couldn't kill him because she fucking loved him. I don't know how. I don't know how you love this. I don't know how. How those freaking events lead to love. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know! I don't fucking know. But it does. Somehow she loves him. I don't know what the fuck he did for her. He did nothing for her. Did nothing for the bitch. And she fucking loves him. So she stands still, okay? With a freaking kunai filled with poison. Sasuke is about to nail kill her. He's about to nail kill her. Effortlessly. Nail she sees for, oh shit, this nigga's about to fucking kill me. About to fucking kill her in her entire life and her existence. Fuck a family, fuck a village. I'm gonna kill you. Naruto saves her. And she accidentally cuts Naruto with the poison blade. So now Naruto has a chance of fucking dying. Kiba and all of them has a chance of fucking dying. There's four. Hidden Leaf teammates are now in danger because Sakura suffers foolishness. And then Kakashi has to jump in. That's five. She, she loves Sasuke. I don't know. What the fuck is going on here? I don't see how all of those fucking events can transcend into love for a man you haven't seen in three years and he hasn't given the fuck about you when he was around. Hey, that's female logic for you, I guess. So after all of that, we have a thing called the Fourth Great Shinobi War. So Masasuke joins back up with the Hidden Leaf, right? Or well, not Hidden Leaf, but Naruto and in the battle. He does a Jutsu called uh, Matsuratsu to help Naruto with no hit and attack on the Tentails. Sakura starts to cry. Saying, like basically hinting that the attack was like evil or like bad energy. 
it took this bitch over a decade to realize that's what this nigga does? On top of that, the uselessness of this fucking hoe in the world. The tip tells us our little baby sperm tip tells, and she goes after one. First, this bitch claims she on fucking Naruto and Sasuke's level equally. Fuck! Fuck! What the fuck? First, she claims some dumbass fucking shit like that. Like, go home, you're drunk, bitch, kind of shit. Then she transcends into battle. Immediately gets saved by Naruto because she wasn't fucking walking. And could have got her head chopped off. Once she realized that, she didn't stop and be like, okay, let me go ahead and try to, you know, remove maneuver these get guys to counter them at the same time, whatever. Nope! Nope! She fucking runs again and has to get saved by fucking Sasuke. And then, after all of that shit, when motherfucking Obito and her is in Obito's dimension, he says, hey, murderer is a fucking killer. If he gets to this Renegon, it's all over for you guys. Sakura stands there with the coochie. She has to look. She has to clean out to do it. She stands there like this. So, because she can't, she waits so long, she shakes. Moderate comes and gets the fuck of Renegade. I don't give a fuck what's for plot reference. Fuck that shit. This bitch is fucking useless. She's fucking useless, man. And then, yes, there's more. I said, and then. That means there's fucking more. Oh, it's more. Oh, it's more. Oh, my God, there's fucking more. It's more. It's more. So after that is over, when they defeat Ka Kaguya, you know, when Sakura gets a blow on her, you know, right before they seal her, she says, I'm a girl too. If there's a t any time for stupid fucking dialogue, th that will win an award. I don't see what you having a fucking pussy between your legs got to do with this battle, got to do with Kaguya, and got to do with Naruto and Sasuke still in the bitch. That's fucking stupid. I, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking get her character. Here's the bad part. She's a main character. It's so much dumb shit that... I don't get it. I don't get it. Then again, she's still, at this point, she's still loving Sasuke, who hates her. And then when Sasuke threatens to destroy the world after they beat her, she's all shocked like, Sasuke, I thought you were different. Bitch, you don't know him. You don't fucking know him. I thought you were fucking, he's a fucking murderer. He killed people. He fucking killed Donzo. He fucking killed him. He tried to kill He's a fucking killer, bitch. Yeah. He's a fucking killer. What you expect? Bitch, the fuck you expect? That's what he does. He's a murderer. He's a rogue ninja. This is what the fuck you've been doing for years. The fuck? I do you were different. You're not like this. What the fuck? He's always been like that. That fucking sinister attitude. That that's been in there since chapter 3 when he was introduced, bitch! I thought you were just bitch, you ain't his f Yo, man. Yo, the fuck this hoe, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know, why, why does he have a fan base? What? I thought you were fucking different. 
you're not like this. Bitch, you don't fucking know him. The fuck? I don't know. I don't know. But you know, you people like this shit. You people like when I rant. I don't like when I fucking rant. I've been laughing out of fucking anger. Just me. Oh, she's a fucking horrible fucking character. And it's more. Yes, I got more shit to talk, dude. Oh my god. So, after the fight, so he once again offers to leave Sasuke. Leave with Sasuke. When he's leaving the village. How desperate can a whole be? Like, ooh, bitch. His sins got nothing to do with you. Then he looks sad, like, uh, again. Bitch, he never liked you. And then, a couple of years later, you know, a couple of years later, I'm not sure what time frame this is, but it's in the office, um, where Naruto, Sasuke is telling Naruto, me with first time Mexico Kage, like, yo, it's a threat, we got there, the Kaguya, I'm gonna go out there, and then at this point, Sakura is so called pregnant, or something like that, or, I'm not sure, so he just fucked Sakura, and left. And when Sakura followed him, they said, uh, you know, because if she was pregnant, she wasn't going to let, you know, him be alone, whatever. Or, like, she didn't want him, blah, 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 whatever. There are females out there justifying this. But, yeah, well, I would do the same thing. My guy, that means I'm be pregnant, I'm be following him, and I'm family. This man just blatantly said he's going out to look for a threat bigger than Kaguya. You, pregnant, decide to follow him. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You will put your own child in danger just to be with a guy who just left. And then he never liked you. <laughs> never fucking liked you. I don't get it, man. And then Naruto was showing her all the affection in the world, man. She turned that back. You know, it's funny because that's how a lot of women are. And the whole nice guy spent his last term. No, that no, that's real. I've been turned down by uh, like a lot of times. Like seriously, to see the person with like a guy who traps with me, sell weed or sell drugs. I see, I seen it all. And she's the ideal new generation female. Horrible. But that's basically my Sakura rant, guys. I mean, my Zaku. You know, make sure like, comment, subscribe. What don't you like about Sakura? You feel like I miss out on anything in this video? Comment below, but I think I covered everything. So, I'm out. I'm about to go eat me some cereal or something. I don't know, man. And I'll just put an episode was wet too, as well. Mazaku, out.